Hey everyone, in this example video, we are asked to approximate the definite integral of the function 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 over the interval of 2 to 6 using the Riemann sum method with four equal subintervals. Additionally, we are asked to find the maximum error. The first thing we are going to do here is draw out our function so that we can visually see the steps that we are going to be applying. The polynomial function will look something like this, with our lower integration bound 2 and our upper integration bound 6, and we are trying to approximate the area under the curve within the boundaries. The first step we need to do is find our delta x, that being the spacing of our evaluation inputs. Since we want equal spacing of four subintervals, we are going to use the following equation b minus a, which gives us the length of the x values over which we're evaluating, then we divide by our number of subintervals, and that gives us 1. Recall also with the middle Riemann sum, we evaluate them in the middle or in between our left and right Riemann sum. Therefore, our first input output pair will be at a plus half our step size. So let's add these to our graph here now. Secondly, we need to develop our general middle Riemann sum equation to solve this problem. To do this, we can begin with the general formula that was developed in our past Riemann sum theory video. With equal subinterval spacing, our delta x becomes a constant, and we can factor it out in front of our summation term like so. Next, we need to actually know what these values in our general equation are. To do this, we need to evaluate our given function at these inputs. Let's go ahead and do that now. Plugging in our inputs and solving, we get the following table of input to output values. Lastly, we have all the required variables and can now solve for the areas by plugging them into our recently found equation. Therefore, this definite integral is approximately equal to 304. And this is our final answer. Since we have all the information, we can check our answer with an exact solution or an analytical solution. Doing so, the analytical solution to this problem is 305.3. This means that our middle Riemann sum approximation is actually quite good, even with a small number of subintervals. If we wanted to improve this error, we could actually increase our number of subintervals to get better refinement of our integral. Next, to find the maximum error of our Riemann sum, we learned in a previous video that if we have equal step sizes, our maximum error of the middle Riemann sum is going to be our absolute maximum of the second derivative of our function times our integrating distance b minus a cubed over 24 times our number of subintervals squared. Because our function is a polynomial, finding our second derivative is extremely easy and is actually just a constant. Plugging all these values in, we get 1.33 repeating as our maximum error. I hope that this video helped your understanding of how to solve a middle Riemann sum problem. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns. 